Many of us watched in awe as Olympic athletes achieved amazing feats, and that continues now with the Paralympics. And as our children head back to school, we can help them prepare for success and happiness this coming school year, taking lessons from how Olympic athletes mentally prepare for their sport. Joining me now is UW Health psychologist Dr. Shyla Mergain to share a series of skills, mental skills, that will help improve really any aspect of a child's engagement at school and safeguard their mental well-being as well. And I just want to say welcome back. Oh, it's great to be here. People may see your face and go, I remember her <laughs> because you've been on and off our air for a number of years, but but it's been a while. So yeah, happy it's to real have you honor back to be here. In. So let's go through some of these skills. And the first one is growth is the goal. So Olympians really believe in their potential and we can instill this in our children by having them adopt a growth mindset. So encouraging them to stick with something, to not give up, to keep at it and really praise the hard work versus mm -hmm. the outcome. Mm -hmm. Because kids have good days, they have bad days, but really if they're moving in the direction of their potential, if they keep working at things, a lot is possible. And using the word yet, maybe you haven't gotten there yet, but you can that. eventually. Yeah, that mindset is so important and celebrating even really little successes right because they make a big difference especially for little kids absolutely another important skill and this is probably for adults too is to learn to be in the moment mm -hmm. so the zone where we all do the best is here and now and many kids can start to get caught up in their thoughts they can ruminate about the past or start to anticipate the future so helping them be here now and you can teach them some simple mindfulness practices like using some centering breaths like like one foot, two feet, one breath. Mm. So when they're doing that, they really ground in the moment. Or even having an object in their school bag, maybe it's a, a piece of jewelry or a special pencil or the zipper on their book bag. When they touch that, it helps right. ground them in the mm. moment. And that helps them calm the mind and calm the body so they can perform well. When you say, you say like one, one foot, foot, are you standing up or you're sitting when Either. you do Either, okay. yep, and feeling the pressure of yep. your foot in the ground, one foot, uh -huh. two feet, one breath. Okay. really brings you back here and now yeah also you recommend visualizing the outcome that you want and there is a specific technique you recommend for this too yeah visualization is mental rehearsal to train our brain and I love this flick back flick forward so throughout the year help kids develop a highlights reel of successes and that kind of like a YouTube video and uh -huh. they can flick back in time and picture that again using all their senses and then flick forward having imagining them themselves having a similar if not better outcome and we can even do this today anticipate particular challenges that might happen during the school year mm -hmm. and then when they have a little success say yeah put that in your highlights reel remember it visualize it that's it so then if they're going into something similar or even another challenging situation they can flick back to that past success that highlights reel yeah. flicking forward seeing a similar if not better outcome and that builds some inner fuel and confidence that they can go into that new challenging situation with those kind of images and past success on board. I love that because we all have good and bad, but if we're really focusing on the positive, we're setting ourselves up for success and our kids too. Uh, we had more to get to, but uh, the time is always so short. It is. But we really appreciate your advice and time and hope that there are some parents who can uh, help their children with this as well. And Shyla is going to be back once a month, so we'll look forward to seeing her be next great month. To, yeah, great. Thank you so much.